I do have eyes up there. <laughs> it feels great playing in Lancashire because it feels like you can all understand us. Can you? <laughs> Honestly, because when we're in Ireland, we have sort of these conversations, especially in the South. Is anybody from Ireland in here? Yeah. Where do you come from? Sligo. See, we love Ireland, but in the South, we find that we have conversations with people and they don't understand what we're saying and we don't understand what they're saying but they're lovely and they're smiling at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> this lovely, lovely guy was trying to tell us where we should go um, when we had a day off and well we, we didn't go there did we? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we couldn't, we have no idea what it's all. <laughs> but Ireland is beautiful isn't it? But it rains more than here. <laughs> we swam Cork yesterday, and then caught the bones. <laughs> well, moving on from Ireland to Scotland, this next song is about Scotland. Is there anyone here from Scotland? Or any connections with Scotland? Yes, yes that's good. This, this song was based on a true story that a friend of mine told us, and she comes from a town in Scotland called Loch Gelly, which is near Dunfermline. And uh, she was travelling on a bus one day in Loch Gelly, and on the seat behind her, there were two old gentlemen, both about 80 years old, and as they were travelling, she was listening into the conversation. It was quite interesting. These two old boys had lived in Loch Gelly every single day of their lives. They'd lived on the same street in the town every single day of their lives. They'd gone to work from being boys to retiring at the same place in the mine in the town. They'd gone to work in the morning on the same bus together, come home in the evening on the same bus together. But that day that our friend was travelling with them was the very first time they'd ever said hello to each other. So we thought that was quite a sad story, really, of uh, you know lost opportunities. And they could have been friends for a long, long time if they'd only just said hi uh, 80 years before. <laughs> They're not as friendly as this Lancashire bunch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we wrote a song based on that true story, and it's it's the story about the two lads on the bus, and it's a tune called Lock Gelly.
just over three years together we've been playing together. And you're making a, an impression on the music scene now, aren't you? I'd love to think so, but they, <laughs> I think that's for them to tell us whether we are. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Isn't it lucky that you brought lots of copies of your album to sell? Oh, it's so good. I, yeah. How is the album going? Good, good, yeah, it's going good. We're just touring like mad, as, as usual, you know, just trying to push the album. Well, what do you like doing? Is it the touring or is it in the recording studio? What do you enjoy? Well, we love writing. When we're on the road, we tend to write most of our songs. Um, we love touring. We like recording as well, but I think it's live where we, you know, we love it the most. And you love it too, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. <laughs>